妈死了，天天玩你妈上下假突破，又多又空的，你妈死透了。每天那么多假突破，假突破，你玩你妈了个逼，操盘手，我操死你妈！In today's China's Who's Who video, let's talk about this guy who has no fear, leverages 100x on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and is said to be the second Justin Sun in the crypto space. And this guy is Liang Xi. After seeing the clip at the start of this video, I believe the first impression everyone will have on this guy is probably what drugs is this guy on? So Liang Xi started out as a crypto influencer on Weibo, and it's no surprise that he's able to attract this much attention and audience because of the way he presents himself, as well as the context he includes in his videos and his posts. Let's dive deeper into this later on, but um, the way he presents himself might have something to do with his upbringing, because apparently um, he was once sent to a internet addiction training school by his father. because he was obsessed with League of Legends. Um, he was playing it nonstop every day. He wasn't studying, he wasn't doing anything else. Apparently he was even sent to a mental hospital with his dad, and I believe he might be traumatized by this experience. But according to his bio, he actually had all sorts of impressive achievements. He was a national swimmer um, when he was 10 years old. <laughs> and he was ranked top three in the country. He was one of the top League of Legends players, but many people on Weibo doubted how true these achievements are. So anyway, um, as I mentioned just then, the context he includes in his videos and posts are jaw-dropping. So for example, he exposes heated conversations between him and his dad, and these conversations even include him um, telling his dad that he's gonna call the police on him. So long story short, um, Liang Xi started trading crypto when he was very young, so when you're 17, you can't open a bank account or have credit cards, off cards at a bank. So because he had a lot of money stored in his um, exchange account, his dad persuaded him to take out part of the money and store it in the bank just to prevent him from leveraging all the money he has in the crypto exchange account. But because he couldn't set up a bank account, he decided to send the several million dollars he has in his crypto exchange to his dad's account and his dad promised to take good care of the money for him. As I mentioned just then, Liang Xi leverages 100x on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and the remaining money he has on his uh, crypto exchange account got liquidated in no time, so he had to ask his dad for the money back so he could continue trading. However, to his surprise, his dad refused to send him the money back, and Liang Xi got very mad, right? He's always taken good care of his family. He promised his dad that when he retires, Liang Xi's gonna send his dad $3 million for, for his retirement money. Um, he's paid a million mortgage. He's also paid another $2 million to his other relative to start a business. And he's furious as to why his dad isn't willing to send him his money back. Therefore, he was basically telling his dad off. He was swearing at him, saying all kinds of bad words to him. And he told his dad that if he doesn't send him the money, he's gonna call the police on him. At last, of course, his dad agreed to send him 100k for him to continue trading. But the money again quickly got liquidated once Liang Xi started leveraging. And Liang Xi's last resort was to ask his followers on Weibo for money. And he promised that whoever sends him money, he'll send half of his profit gain from leveraging to the follower. So at last he raised 10k USD from his followers and after a few days of trading he managed to pay the money back to the follower as well as the profit he's earned. But after another few days of trading he ended up losing all of the money he has. Another famous story he mentioned on Weibo is about his dating life because this girlfriend in particular costed him 3.6 million USD. So what happened was um, his girlfriend was traveling overseas and Liang Xi promised to pick her up from the airport once she comes back from traveling. However, um, yes, he got into the argument with his dad, right? And um, he was late to pick up his girlfriend and his girlfriend was furious. His girlfriend was fuming at the airport, took Liang Xi's phone and threw it on the floor. The phone completely shattered and when Liang Xi picked it up, he couldn't turn on his phone, it wasn't usable and he had to go fix it. And because it was broken, he couldn't close his position in time. His Money got liquidated and it costed him 3.6 million USD. He's also known to always tell people on Weibo to not get into the financial market because you'll eventually lose all your money in it. And he's the living proof of always losing money when leveraging his crypto. But not long after he became famous, um, Weibo started banning crypto contents and it 
forced Liang Xi to move everything to Twitter. You would probably worry that, oh, when, once he moved to Twitter, he might have lost a lot of his followers, but no. Because on October 17th in 2021, he started his own Twitter space. And as he was already very famous on Weibo, Justin Sun and Du Jun, so Justin Sun's from Tron and Huobi, and Du Jun is from OKX. Both of them has already heard about Liang Xi. And when they saw his Twitter space, they decided to join and speak in his Twitter space. And there was tremendous support on his Twitter space. And there were more than 10K followers listening at the same time to his Twitter space. And his Twitter space even ranked first in the global Twitter space ranking. Everyone found um, his Twitter space very entertaining because they were having real conversations. Their conversations were not filtered. No one was sugarcoating what they were saying. There wasn't any promotion included. And it's just very entertaining and very engaging in general. And if you've watched my previous video on Justin Sun, you'll know that Justin Sun is the person who loves riding on hypes. So during the Twitter space, Justin Sun knew that Liang Xi was running out of funds to continue trading, and he announced that he's gonna offer him 50k USD for him to trade, and Du Jun also followed Justin Sun's offer. I think this is a very smart move for Justin Sun, because not only does this give him more exposure, it also gives Huobi more exposure, because if Justin Sun offers you money, you will have to put the money into Huobi, right? And not only that, um, Liang Xi also included uh, Huobi's referral link in his on his Twitter bio, and this also attracted a lot more people to sign up for Huobi because Liang Xi is like the talk of the town in that period of time. I know that the incidents I mentioned above might leave you the impression that Liang Xi is not very good at trading and loses all his money, but he's actually very famous for going from 150 USD to more than 1.5 million USD in a day. Yeah, I'll insert my external drive. And that's very impressive for a guy who's only 20 or 21. And not only does he earn money from trading, he also gets promotion fees from different projects, and he also openly talks about how much these projects give him, and it can range from a few thousand USD to tens of thousands of USD. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. After reading up different articles on Liang Xi, I think that he's a mental person. Not only does the way he trade leave me in shock, but the way he presents himself in front of the camera actually leaves me thinking what drugs he's on. I'm not sure if this is his real personality or if he's doing it for the views, but his rapid increase in followers shows that the way he's presenting himself in front of the camera is very successful. There's actually a lot more to his story. Um, he's also gotten into arguments with other people in the space, and I can create another video talking about that. But if you find this episode helpful, don't forget to like, share, and comment down below to let us know who you want us to feature in the next Chana's Who's Who video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on anything crypto related. And until next time, bye!